we're here with Spencer Fu and the legend. Come on. We got hard hitters. Right? We got hard hitters. We're real. Okay, we're here with the legend Johnny Nelson. Um, just a quick couple questions. What fight are you looking forward to seeing this weekend? Uh, this weekend was a big one. Of course, I want to see Ben Whitaker. I think this young man is he's a rising star. Uh, I think, you know, when, you, when a British party goes to America and you get the attention of the Americans, you know you've got to stop the there because he fights at the most, he holds the sword and walks the walk. Of course, I'm intrigued about the main fight uh, because, you know what, it's the crystal stuff has shown us capable of digging deep on the world. Richard Rackwell hasn't, and no one can. So this time, the bonfire needs to show a different side of himself. Richard's the only guy that's been Chris Phillips, Chris Phillips, when he's become champion before Richard. Richard, he knows what's going to be doing, crossing punches. Everything's coming together from now. Richard Rackwell is an elated puncher, and Chris Phillips with Tom Movies in. If you don't move your head in this game, then you could end up dead. Simple as that. So you're predicting a knockout, yeah? Yeah. And what's your views on Ben Whitaker? Oh, fantastic talent. Would you rate him up there with the likes of Prince Nazim and some of the British no, greats? No, no, not now. But in, in time, maybe we're going to look at him like that. But right now, this is where you have to know that he's, he's real. Because when you ask people about it, people are like, they're very skeptical, not realizing this guy was an Olympic silver medalist. This guy, when Americans were asked about him, yeah, they would say, yeah, Ben Whitaker's the guy. So I know this person. So, yeah, he's a very, very good fighter. He's an amazing fighter. Um, so, Chamberlain. I like Chamberlain. Um, Jack Massey, he's not easy fight. Massey's a very good fighter and he's tough. But Isaac's got incredible skills, right? So if he's 16 boxing, I've got Isaac for you now to fight. Uh, we appreciate you. It's a short interview, but thanks for that, yeah? No, nah, man, that's big up heavy hitting. Because you're not going to have a real. And one day I'm going to punch the thing, but not now. That's what everyone's waiting for, but yeah? yeah? Not now, man. Right, I'm going to be training for that first. Yeah. Love you. said in the ring? I don't even remember, you know. You don't even remember? Um, I said something about the angle. I'm going to touch that chin. And uh, I remember you said you were going to drop me that right hand or whatever. Uh, something like that. Uh, he was just talking, bro, I can't understand this Manchester accent, bro. Don't understand the Manny accent. I can't really understand it, bro. All right, cool. So, you got any predictions for the fight? For me and him? Yeah. yeah any rounds? And what do you want to do after this fight? Have you got have you seen the on or you just focusing on this? Maybe just, yeah, 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 man. I'm more focused on this. I will keep really look past it. It's a big fight. Yeah, I appreciate it. I will keep it short and sweet. Best of luck on Saturday. With Hennessy. Come on, she's getting too close to us, you know. All time. All time? Yeah. Like, uh, I love... Female and male. Female? Yeah. Everyone knows I love Savannah Marsh. Yeah, that's Savannah Marsh. Uh, male. I love uh, Prince Nazim. Prince Nazim, yeah. Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I love all them. So, uh, yeah, no, no. I like the entertaining style. You know, the ones that get the crowd on their faces. So. so, what do you
was you supporting the, um, Silvano over the weekend? Yes, I was. I was watching that fight. Wow. It's safe to say Jamana can have it anywhere. Have you got any thoughts of MMA or? Not any time soon. Let me with a world title and box and then we'll see the fight yeah. MMA. Oh, so that's true. Have you got any advice to the young females coming up that look up to you in that? Thank you for that and all the luck of your fight. Advice for any up and coming fighters? Advice for up and coming fighters? Believe in yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Don't matter what you tell anybody else, you're the best in your life. So when you close your eyes, you know what's going on. If you put the work in, work hard at it. Expect success. If you don't get success the first time, try again. Try again. Try again. Not people fail. Once I keep trying, fix it when they fail. So go back. If I can do it, like 30. Amateur fights, I'm free. It's your first few professional fights. Every time you don't box, you don't box. I knew that if I did this, did that, did this, and kept fixing them one at a time. Ignore the naysayers, ignore the sheep. As long as you can see a way forward, it is And last and final question um, Who is your favourite fight of all time that inspired you? Someone that inspired you? Favourite fight of all time, obviously, you've got to put Ali up there. Did in the ring, what he, what he took from outside the ring. Yeah. Fighters aren't willing to sacrifice their careers for their beliefs. You know, not sportsmen or Ali did. Uh, so we've got a race in Matthew. Of course, before him, I'd say Jack Johnson, the first black like, heavyweight champion in the world. This man did team that get hung. You know what I mean? If you know your sport, you know your history, and you think. Uh, so to me, I, I love the history of my game and I love what our fighters are. Thank you, appreciate that very much. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's pretty I'll take 8, 10. 8, 11. Yeah. <laughs>